In this video, we're going to look at Solscan.io, one of the block explorers for the Solana blockchain. Now, this is only one of the block explorers that is available. There are other alternatives, one being explorer.solana.com. But as I said, the one we're going to go through today is Solscan.io. And what a block explorer will allow you to do is look at blocks and transactions happening in real time. And it'll allow you to search for transactions. It'll allow you to search for accounts. It'll allow you to search for programs and contracts. On SolScan, they give you some information about the network on the homepage. Up here, we have the uh, Sol supply, the circulating and non-circulating supply. We have the slot ranges. We've got network information such as the block height transactions per second. And we also have details about how much of the token is staked. So we have current stake and we have delinquent stake. If we scroll down, we have an NFT dashboard showing the popular NFTs, their floor price and the volume. We also have a DeFi, a decentralized finance dashboard. At the moment, it's showing by volume, but you can look at it by total value locked. If we scroll down a little bit, we have more details on DeFi AMMs or automatic make market makers. And if we scroll down a little bit further on SolScan, we also have details of the transactions per second. So this is the last 30 minutes or we could change it to hours for the last six hours and the average ping time. Also then on SolScan is the Twitter feed showing updates about Solana. So as I mentioned with a blockchain, you can look at data happening in real time. To do this up here, if we on the top, if we select blocks, we can go in and we can see the most recent blocks. So these all these blocks happened a minute ago. We have the block hash, the slot, the time, the transaction count. So there's three and a half thousand transactions in that particular block. The leader, so this is the validator and the validator rewards. Any of these items here in blue are clickable, which means you can drill down and find out further information. If we drill into the block hash, we're going to get details of all of the transactions that were included in that particular block. So we've got three and a half thousand transactions. And if we scroll down, we can see all the different transactions that has happened. Now the signature, this is the transaction ID. If you're looking to look up a transaction, you need the signature, which is the transaction ID. So we can click into the signature. Now we can see this is an update price. So this will be an Oracle feed that is updating the price somewhere on the blockchain. So we can see here, it is an oracle. We can see the publisher. So the publisher is the writer, the signer and the fee payer. And we can also see that it has interacted with a price account and it's written to that price account. You can see other details as well about the instructions when they are available as you scroll down. If we just go back there now to blockchain and this time we're going to go to transactions. And when you go to the transactions, you can see all the individual transactions that have currently been approved. Now we can see most of them there are just voting transactions that have been included. So I'm going to just refresh and see if anything else comes up of interest that we can look at. So we go into this voting transaction. We can see that the main action was to vote on a slot. We can scroll down then and see the instruction details as well. So that's how you can look at live transactions as they're happening on the blockchain. But what you're going to use a block explorer for most often is searching for accounts and transactions. So if you have a transaction pending in your wallet, it's easy to come here to the blockchain explorer and look up the transaction and see it actually happening live. The first thing we're going to look at is an account. So I'm going to paste in an account number. When I paste it in, it recognizes that this is an address. So when I go into it, we get some information about the account. We can see how much Sol is in the account and we can see how many tokens are in the account. So these are non-native to the blockchain or built on top of the blockchain. Within here, then we can see all of the transactions that this account 
made. For example, we can see the soul transfers. So there's the soul transfers, the token transfers. We can see the token accounts. We can see the stake accounts and we can see any domains as well. Returning to the home screen, if we put in a transaction number, and you'll find some transactions that you can explore in the course resources. We can see that this transaction, so here's the signature. So this is your transaction ID. We can see the result, we can see the signer, and then we can see the main actions. So it interacted with a program. And what happened? Well, one soul was swapped for M soul. If we scroll down, then we can see the actual instructions. So here is all the writable actions that happened on the blockchain. And if we keep scrolling down, we can see all of the transactions, as I said, that happened within this. Now, if we go up further in here, we can look at the Sol balance change. So this is the native token and how the native token of the blockchain changed within this transaction. And the token balance change is how the non-native tokens changed. So we see we have a balance before, a balance after, and a change. So in this circumstance, the this address, this owner sent 0.93 of these marinade state tokens to this particular account here, which is the receiver. So they're down that amount and these are up that amount. Let's have a look at another transaction. And in this transaction, again, we have the signature, we have the signer, and then we have the soul transfer. So what's happened here is we've transferred soul from this account. It was transferred from this account to this account, and it was 1.882 soul. There was also a small fee involved. And if we can scroll down, we can see all of the different interactions that happened for that particular transaction. So the Sol balance change, but well, what we would expect to see is a minus Sol of 1.882 coming from this account and a positive Sol going to this account. So let's double check that. So we can see a minus Sol coming from this account. This was the signer and the fee payer. And we can see it going into this account because the change is going upwards. Now, because it's the only token that moved in this particular transaction is sold, what would you expect to see in the token balance change? That's right, you're not going to see anything because there was no movement of non-native tokens within this transaction. Let's go back to the home page again. In this last example, we're going to look at a program or a contract. So I've put in the contract address and what we can see here is the current supply and we can also see the number of holders. So that would show how popular this particular token is. We have the token address, we have who authorized the token. And then down here we have lots of information about the token. So we have all of the transfers, we have the transactions, we also have the holders and the holders is a good gauge of how centralized something may be. Now, quite often you'll find many of the, the large percentage holders may be exchanges or liquidity pools, but that's something you should really look at because if it's an individual and they've got 97% of a token to dump, they're gonna dump on the community when they can. There is an analysis as well available. So again, you can see the token distribution is not very well spread out. You can see all holders is increasing, but the active holders has been decreasing. So you get some useful information in the analysis. You can have a look at the markets, which there's no data or metadata if there is any available. So as I said, most often you're going to be using a block explorer to look up transactions and maybe look up your account, but it can also be looked at for further information and analysis on the blockchain, such as about NFTs or DeFi and to see transactions happening live.